good morning YouTube we got a garage sale haul video 2020 for you uh, I got a community yard sale this morning at 8 a.m. we're gonna go hit it try to find some treasures to resell on eBay uh, if you like this kind of video please consider hitting the subscribe button real quick before you get into it and uh, if at the end of the video if you like it how about hitting the thumbs up let me know what you think about it all right guys let's go find some treasures bye Sorry about the road noise, guys, but just had a funny little video I thought I'd shoot. Got the dog chilling out here. I live right on a major highway, so it's kind of hard to hear. But anyway, I ordered a starter for a friend's truck. Came FedEx. And I have got a big, big yard. So... They said the package was delivered. I had nothing in the door, nothing at my gate. So I went out to the mailbox last night. Of course, knowing that a starter couldn't fit in the mailbox, but still thought I'd walk out. It was dark out here. So like I said, I got a really big place. I came out to the mailbox. Nothing out here. But now I'm looking out my door this morning and I spy that. Now. There is my starter, delivered out by the road, not near the mailbox, not near my house, not near the car, but yet way out by the road. You can see how big my property is, it's huge. Would they not put it by the fence, by my gate, by my car, but rather here, by the highway? I don't know if this video does justice on exactly how far away this is. from my house. That is where my starter was laying. Ridiculous. Okay, so my spy glasses didn't work again, so I got no footage of the community yard sale that I hit this morning. But here are the few of the items I got. Uh, this was a half inch drive impact and a drill. These were used one time, the lady said, and then her father passed away. So you can see by looking at it, these have got nowhere. She said he used it on one project and put it away and never used it again. She couldn't find the charger and battery, so these are the tools only. Uh, I spent $50 on it. I tried to talk her down to 40 but she wouldn't take it because they were brand new, basically. But uh, I'm glad I paid the 50 I don't like buying the bigger money items, but this one really paid off because I listed it as soon as I got home, and it sold already. As you can see here, for $188.99. Home run flip. I only paid a little over $100 for everything uh, yesterday, so that paid for everything, and I got in the profit already. So keep an eye out for the DeWalt product, especially when they're in this good condition. And next, this was a pair of Ariat boots. They were brand new. They had some scuffs and things on it. Uh, these were waterproof, uh, some kind of work boot. 
anyway uh they had some scuffs on them like i said so i just took a brown uh, brush out of my shoe polish kit that had some old residue shoe polish on it and hit it lightly and all those scuffs and all that you see here came right out so anytime you got a pair of boots and they just got the light scuffing on them, just hit them with the dry brush. All, the old residue from the old polish will usually just buff them right out. You don't even have to sit and go through a whole cleaning process with them. So they should bring me about 130 bucks, as you can see here on the comps. Next, I got these nine gloves. I paid 20 bucks because I saw the Mizuno uh, first base glove and the catcher's mitt laying in the pile so i offered him 20 bucks for all nine gloves i knew i could make my money back out of one at least and so yeah the mizuno glove is probably gonna be the one that really hits it was a 50 dollar glove then the vintage sears and roebuck one it'll probably sell for 25 or so maybe 30 i always like to snatch up gloves they sell pretty quick the rest of the gloves here, they were all junk. They were really beat up. There were two vintage ones I probably lot up right here in this picture here. I probably lot those two up together. And then the other ones I'm just gonna throw together in a box and sell them for $5 at a yard sale or something of that nature. Maybe somebody can use them for their kids or... So the same lady with a Dewalt on the way out had these laying and she said, you need to pick up something for your kids. So I, have, I said, yeah, I'll grab these right here. So she gave me both of them for a dollar, 50 cent each. So the Just Dance 3 was in the wrong packaging, but the Wii Sports was there and in pretty decent shape. I need to get a resurfacer soon, I guess, for all the video games because it'd probably pay off and be worth it. But anyway, these usually sell the Wii Sports for about $25 each. So that was a pretty good pickup for 50 cents. All right, guys, that's all I got. If you found anything that you might be able to find when you're out thrifting and yard selling or reselling on eBay, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button, guys. And as usual, everybody, try to stay safe when you're out there and your treasure hunting adventures. All right, till next time, catch you guys later. Bye.